Hey everyone, Lisa Cole with Coordinates Collections. Um, I'm here to bring you the previews for July and I know they are so late, I apologize. My Mac has been in the shop and once you go Mac, you can never go back. And so we loaded all of the video software on my Mac and then we lost the software so I could not load it to the PC in the house and I apologize for these being so late. But I'm really excited to show you um, the two kits that we have this month. They're very different. One is bright, one is muted. Um, but you are going to love both of them and I know it's a hard time um, for all of you to decide which kit to get, which I encourage you to get both because I don't know how you can pass them up. <laughs> Excuse me, so let's go um, forward with Lakeside. And what started this kit was the American Crafts um, Craft Fair collection. And you're going to get um, these double-sided papers that have solids on the back. But the first thing that we're starting with is this wavy um, stripe, which is really, really pretty. Um, I'm trying to get you some good light tonight at the end of the day. But <clears throat> it has a beautiful kind of um, grassy green, aqua blue, red, brown, bright yellow, and a soft pink. Really fun um, basic colors to work with. And the second page is full of these buttons. Um, I really, really love these. Look at how, how fun they would be to punch out. Just use a circle punch. You don't even have to use scissors. Of all different shapes and put some buttons on top of it. You can do so many things um, with titles, cute titles with this kind of paper. So those are your first two papers. And the next three came from um, Crepe Paper's Lillian collection. Really pretty. We love this house paper. It has a really fun texture to it. It's a nice, heavy cardstock. But look how cute these little houses are really really darling um, also you get a coordinating strip on the bottom that coordinates with the back and I don't know if you can see this really well but um, this red paper has some really faint little um, kind of watermark circles on it really pretty but this um, house paper is just darling and you're gonna love that with um, to coordinate with some of these other brighter pages really really pretty so also from the Lillian collection is this really pretty blue green leaf paper um, again, it has a nice texture. It's, a, it's an aqua color with that grassy green, and on the back is the grassy green with, again, the watermarked um, little tiny circle paper um, marks on it. You'll, you'll really like that as a background for your pages, too. But I love the little spotted leaves here. Very pretty. And then we've got a nice red border um, type paper that's got um, kind of a very uh, modern looking stem type uh, print to it. Really pretty. It's a really pretty red. It's not too bright, but it goes beautifully with these other papers. Um, really nice coordination. Really pretty. And on the back is kind of a um, kind of a whitewashed white with a little bit of yellow in it. With again some circles that um, crepe paper did, and it kind of looks like um, ruler paper. It's kind of um, distressed that way, like a college ruled paper. Very pretty. And this month we're getting two. Fun, basic um, colors from Basil, you get a really nice red. Again, not too bright. This is a very nice um, demure red. It's, it's kind of washed out. It's not too bright. It goes really well. And then you're getting some dotted Swiss Basil in this really pretty um, canary yellow kind of color. Really pretty. I don't know if you've used that before, but we've used it a couple times, and I really like the texture to it. So in this kit, you're getting some thickers. And these are patchwork, and they are this fun, fun teal blue. And I don't know if you can see, but um, the texture on these is, is like a fabric. So it's got like this um, nubbiness to it. Really, really fun. I love the thin font that this comes in in the thickers. Um, I love all the thickers, but I really think this thin font is really fun to use. And you can use it as an, as an accent piece for your title. Something big and bold that's chunky, and then a little subtitle with these little letters. Very fun. And you get a really cool pink pom-pom um, ribbon. Thanks, Jen Dubs, for picking that out for us. Love it. Very fun. You also get a bling it from Basic Gray. They just started making these, um, I think, two shows ago. Maybe CHA winner. But um, not only could you use this in its entirety, but to cut it apart, use the center flower, and then take this outer circle apart and use it to accent a photo or part of your title or a fun um, chipboard piece that you want to accent. Really cute, but um, these are in two different colors of pink, really fun. And candy dots from Pebbles. They are, they're like brads, but they're just little stickers. They're just little sticky dots, so you don't have to worry about poking through paper. You can just put them on, use them as accents for your titles um, to, to accent an I or a J or a period or um, fun centers of 
um, flowers or your button paper. Really fun with that. And then what I got this month for um, the add-ons were from the Crate Paper Lillian line. And um, we used these a couple months ago in um, a really pretty blue and green kit that we had, these border stickers that were glittered. And these are so beautiful. I'm in love with border stickers anyway. But um, look at the fun um, patterns that come in this and the colors to go with that house paper. I think these are a must for your shopping cart. These are really, really pretty and you can cut these apart. Really fun. And then I also got the um, glitter die cut shapes. And they're not chipboard, but they're thick paper. And look at all these great um, shapes and stuff that I got. Fun! Can you imagine using all those for cards and um, cute accents on your pages for spring, um, document your spring pages? Really fun. So that's the Lakeside kit, and I know you are going to love it. Um, don't think of it just as a girl kit because it has pink in it. It's got so many fun colors, that deep chocolate brown, the um, teal and yellow and red. You can do anything with this kit. I can see baseball pages with it. Um, lots of very fun things for the end of the spring season and beginning into summer. So if you make this choice, hooray for you. But wait until you see Oceanside, too. It's coming up next.